Hi, I'm Aria Luna, and today is the 22nd of October 2024. I'm an Italian artist living in the UK. I always liked drawing and painting. Since I was a little girl, I was always creating stories, imagining ideas and situations. And I remember that I was always looking around me very carefully and somehow this curiosity as a child allowed me to reproduce the reality into drawing and painting just because I was really looking around me and noticing every single detail, every color, every shape. I was very curious. And I also remember that I was thinking how it's amazing that everything that I could imagine in my head I could somehow make it, make it reality through my art. In terms of influence, um, I'm really inspired by nature. Nature is an uh, infinite source of inspiration. I like to be in nature and it's so amazing, the variety of colors and shapes. And also the feeling that nature can bring to all the people in, um, around that. And um, I try to reproduce this in my painting and in my drawing. Um, in terms of a visual artist, I really like Georgia O'Keeffe. She's of course one of my biggest influence, but I also like Matisse and Alice Neal and many others, of course. Um, at the moment, I'm working on a series of painting called Rebirth. I started this series in a moment when I was not feeling very well and I decided that I wanted to create my reality in a way. So I wanted to paint all the elements, all the symbols that could inspire me to live again in my true self as I wanted to be. I think art has an immense healing power and um, everybody that can go through a difficult moment uh, it can overcome this uh, and art can help for sure so I hope that mm, this series will mm, somehow give hopes and also happiness uh, to the people that we relate with the images that I will create um, as an artist one of the biggest challenge I think is uh, to keep on being honest with ourselves and with our audience. Uh, keep doing what you think you really want to do, despite of the worrying that people will understand you or will like what you do. Because um, this is the only way to create an honest connection. And I think also that um, you always need to Go inside yourself and try something different. Go a little bit out of your comfort zone. Try to really deep dive and understand what else can be told that is unsaid from your inner self, basically. Um, I think this is really important. And an advice that I would give to my younger self would be most probably to start painting a little bit earlier because uh, uh, I did study architecture and um, interior design and I did work on a corporate environment for many years uh, which I did like but I was always feeling that I was not my complete self so um, I think someone really needs to follow their passions uh, I know it may seem a bit cliche but it's true it's true um, there is a strength that we have inside of us and then when we are young this is incredib incredibly powerful and this can really make the difference in a way uh, in your life but also in the life of other people so I guess it's important to follow that as soon as possible as soon as it's possible for you uh, in terms of techniques um, I use mostly acrylic paintings on canvas but I do use watercolor sometimes and also 
oil painting, some pants drawing, a little bit of different techniques, and I mix them together as well some, sometimes. Uh, I did experiment with sculpture in the past, but I'm not doing this at the moment, but hopefully in the near future I will start again. Uh, in terms of um, my background, when I, when I do my painting, I like um, silence. But I do like also some music, something maybe more calm or emotional. I love many type of music, mostly rock or soul music and something that will inspire my emotional state to create the painting that I am about to start. And in terms of, um, I do really like when people connect with my art of course um, it's a really beautiful feeling someone appreciate what you do and then um, there is a connection with with the public and then i still remember when i sold my biggest painting the triptych and i remember the person who was buying that she she was saying she did say to me um, i think this is gonna make me really really happy and this was an extremely beautiful thing to communicate. And I was feeling, okay, if somehow with what I do, I can change the day of a person, make them feel better, or make them connect with their emotion, overcome their limits, give them some kind of strength in themselves, and a positive idea of life, I think I'm going to be satisfied. Um, so, yeah, these are the type of messages that I want to communicate with my painting. Uh, I think art has an immense healing power and then you can choose to resonate with what you want in your life, with the emotion that you want in your life, but to have um, some kind of images that remind you the beauty of life, that remind you that you can overcome your limits and there will always be another chance. I think it's a positive message that I would like to, to give to the world. Thank you so much for listening to me and I hope to see you soon.